This time, part two of the top seven mistakes when it comes to recruiting great people for your business. Right, last time we were talking about the top mistakes when it comes to recruiting. If you haven't watched part one, go and check that out. So we've already covered the top three mistakes. Not being crystal clear on what you are looking for, not having a proper structured process and taking too long to recruit. So let's pick it up on number four. Recruiting on skills and experience and not paying nearly enough attention to attitude and culture fit. Yes, they need to have the skills to do the job. You want them to have the experience, but you need them to have the right attitude. I love people that are open, that are coachable, that have growth mindsets, that wants to do better. The other thing that you want to make sure you do is look for values alignments. If you have company values, you should be assessing for values fit in your recruitment process. If you have a company where everybody in that company share the same values, it enables the team to be aligned in the way that they behave, the way that they think and the way that they act. Number five, being a cheapskate. So many businesses try and get away with paying people as little as possible. Yes, you have to operate within a commercial reality, but be realistic about the outcomes that you want achieved in your business and how much you need to pay for somebody that has the experience and the ability to be able to deliver those outcomes. Be more focused on value to the company not just how much you're gonna pay in salary. Number six, not selling the company, selling the role, selling the culture, selling the opportunity. Great candidates have options. They may be in the process with several businesses or they may be working for a great business at the moment. Your job is to help them understand what a great business your business is. I'm talking about selling your company, selling the opportunity. It is a process of mutual due diligence. You are choosing them, but they are also choosing you. If this is an area where you feel you need to do a little bit of work, check out the episode where I talk about employee value proposition and employer brand. And finally, not having a proper onboarding process. So let's say you've gone through your process, you've got somebody who's got the skills, they've got the right experience, they've got a great attitude, they've got the same values, and then they start and then they fail. Most businesses don't pay enough attention to their onboarding process. I'm talking about a three month period where you embed them in the business, where you help them understand their role, how the company operates, and you really give them the best start possible so that they can hit the ground running. If you do not onboard your people properly, then you could risk losing great people because you haven't done your bit to give them all of the tools, all of the structure, all of the support to be great at their role. So there we go, the top seven mistakes when it comes to recruiting great talent for your business. Which areas are you falling down on? Where do you need to make some improvements? What do you need to do to be a brilliant recruiter to bring the right people on board to support your growth journey? See you next time on Mind Your Own Business.